is the moment you've spent your whole life training for. Your chance to prove you're the greatest fighter in the business. Your one shot to be the best like no one ever was, Mac. If you lose now, you lost forever, Mac. So don't give up on me, Mac. Show them what you got. And remember, don't lose. Batter up. Final Fantasy 15. The best Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Because it's the only one I've played. <laughs> Mario Odyssey especially being some of my most eagerly anticipated games of 2017. And for some reason, 1-2 Switch is not on that list. I wonder why. This one's for all of you Doctor Who fans. The TARDIS is now playable in Smash. Load up the console, it does the usual, like, setup thing. And when you get to the main menu, you realise, what the fuck? Morty, we gotta... We gotta fuck you, Morty. Oh, I just remembered something. I, I, I forgot to talk about the Wii U's greatest launch game. The one and only Funky Barn. You heard me right. Funky fucking Barn. You know, put down the Xbox One. Throw away the PS4. Shit on the PC. We're playing Funky Barn, lads. You better get high. Also part dinosaur. I am not holding back. It's smile, frown. Fangs or bad, or should I just say British teeth? <laughs> I hate my life. We just need to edit this thing. It's time to make some magic. Off to Windows Movie Maker. The point is, it's been a very long time since I've seen an animated sitcom and I've just liked everything about it and have wanted to keep watching it for as long as I can. That was until I watched Border Town. <laughs> You would think that for the next console, Nintendo would make an effort to appeal to both the casual audience, but also try and win back those hardcore gamers that had grown disinterested with the company. And the easiest way to do that would have been to lose the Wii branding entirely, coming up with something completely new. And would you look at that? They did the complete opposite. Thanks Nintendo, you did a real good thing there. You, you're smart. Good on you. An old desktop with a built-in microphone. Perfect. Despite any doubts that I have with the console, such as what the hell is this game, and no seriously, what the hell is this game? Everyone's favourite animals have green fur, like, um, uh, a sloth. We know how much you Smash Brothers fans love to play using the GameCube controller. And don't worry, because you can use your GameCube adapter for this game as well. But that's not all. You can play this game using any of the Nintendo Switch control options, a Wii Remote with or without nunchucks, a Wii U gamepad, a Nintendo 3DS, an N64 controller, an Xbox One controller, a TV remote, a PS Vita, and the Donkey Kong Bongos. That last one's for all of you professional players out there. No need to thank us. Even then, I adore Diddy Kong in Smash like a newborn fetus. Once you're familiar with each of them, you can then... You know, actually, I know these characters quite well. I mean, I've played as them a lot of times in the game. I know all their backstories. I don't really think this is that... If you do not agree to listen, I will be forced to tell everyone just how you got that particular birthmark on your arm. Oh shit, what if they find out the truth? Let's do it. Fat. You go on Meme Maker, you expect to be greeted by the delightful sounds of the meme menu. Play it, play it. <laughs> put the game in the game console. Oh wait, I put it in the wrong console. How silly of me, that is the joke. Funny, funny joke. Look at what this guy's wearing. Doesn't he know there's only one man who can pull off a visor? It's me. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute old. I can't believe what God has done. There are only five tracks in this racing game. Resort Island, Radical City, Regal Ruin, Reactive Factory, and Radiant Emerald. Do you get it? They all have R in the name. Because it's Sonic R. Just kill me now. Just fucking kill me. Hello. 
Hello, love. The cavalry's here. I'm British. Um, bangers and mash. Fish and chips. Tesco. The Queen. London. Uh, London. Football and cricket. Um, because I'm British. Um, tennis and football. Uh, fish and chips. Uh, I'm British. I'm I'm British. <laughs> now I actually did happen to stumble across something of worth within this game, which may surprise you all. I consider it the saving grace of Splatoon, and what has kept me playing this game for months. Squid Jump. This minigame is so addictive and tactical, so easy to learn yet difficult to master, the most innovative and complex creation Nintendo has released since the Virtual Boy. I honestly would have paid full price for just this game alone. Imagine the cult status this game could achieve if we just band together and push for us dedicated Squid Jump fans to receive the respect and recognition we deserve. Look at him, it's the missing 14th dwarf from The Hobbit. Somebody call the police, we found him. The box says something about using amiibos with this particular game. But once again, Nintendo gives me false hope. I tried every single one of my amiibos and not a single one did anything. Why would you advertise something if you're just going to lie to me? and having to fight off all sorts of strange creatures. And by strange, I mean- What the fuck is it? She's sort of like the medic from TF2. Except so much better. I am so sorry. I'm sort of sad that they changed the intro later in the PS Vita remake Persona 4 Golden, because in that one it's a bit more like, hey guys, look how much fun we're all having together dancing as friends. By the way, this game is about a horrific series of murders. What, did someone say something? I just can't stop dancing. Without a shadow of a doubt, without a single second of hesitation, my favorite Super Smash Brothers character is... Pichu. <laughs> What am I doing with my life? Honestly, you couldn't pay me to say a single bad thing about Captain Falcon. I just like him too much. I mean, maybe his recovery, but... With the exception of Amy. God damn it. Amy drives a little car which is clunky, slow, can't jump, and is just horrible to play as. What am I doing? What is going on? Help me, please! I first played Brawl, I unlocked Falco in the subspace emissary, and oh my, when he free-falled out of an air wing, holding two blasters, kicking that shit out of Bowser's hands, I knew from that point onwards that Falco was a fresh geezer. If I had a pound for every time I've heard this bastard scream during a match, I'd have a lot of money. Hey, this guy's a cool ninja, just like me. Stop what you are doing, and feast your nose, don't you mean, ears. <laughs> and I could happily die to this music, it's just so perfect. 
Oh, gee, my first day in the countryside. I hope I can live a calm, peaceful life now that I'm here. Damn it. This isn't the only thing you can do in Splatoon. For example, there is in fact a single player campaign mode, but as you can see, I didn't have much luck finding anything worth my time. But the only problem is that my SD card on my Vita is currently full, because when I wanted to get Persona 4 Golden, they didn't have any copies of it in the shop, so that meant I had to download it straight to my SD card. But you know, Sony, they only give you a 4 gigabyte SD card, so it took up the entire thing. And that was really bad, because I sort of wanted to get some indie games off the shop, because there's a really good selection of them. Hell, I can't even download a PS1 game without it saying that I don't have enough storage. How do you think that's fair, Sony? There we go, that's another emerald we've just got us. What? You know what came out a year before Sonic R? Mario Kart 64, commonly hailed as one of the best racing games of all time. Why couldn't they just look at that and copy the gameplay and just make it Sonic R? But no, Sonic wouldn't ride a car. He needs to run on foot and move like a bloody tank. Oh yeah, this is happening. the average person what Fire Emblem was, their response would probably be something along the lines of this. What is Fire Emblem? Who are you? Why are you slowly removing my socks? But Melee changed that with the introduction of... Marth! Hello, young boy. Are you playing the hit new game Overwatch? No. Or maybe this was just a really bad idea, seeing as my last video was actually quite a big success, and I'm not capitalising on that by doing a video about the Switch. But, you know, who needs views when you've got originality? Okay, no, guys, sorry, scrap the review, we're just not doing it today. We can, we can do something else next time, but just not today, please. No, no, thank you. What are you doing? I'm finally gonna do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the trigger, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special review, so to protect myself from this god-awful mess, I'm going to have to put on the special review gear. Just, just give me a second. We're golden. You ever wanted to hear the classic songs from Sonic R remastered for a new generation? Well, now you can with the Sonic R tribute album. Listen to classics like, Can You Feel the Sunshine? Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel the sometimes you just need to run away? Living in the city. Living in the city, you know you have to survive. You got to keep that dream alive where everything is free. Can't you see? Work it out. Work it out, work it out, think about it. Work it out, work it out, talk about it. And diamond in the sky. You're the one that makes me feel so high Just like a diamond in the sky I never want to hear you say goodbye <laughs> <laughs> I can't even give him a straight face for that last one This video is extremely different from the other videos I did But I just wanted to honor my favorite YouTuber Protomac Protomac, if you're watching this um, I've loved pretty much all of your videos Um... And I just have found a lot to enjoy about every single one of them. They're all funny. Um, he reached 5,000 subscribers recently, and that's why I'm doing this whole thing. Um, I really just wanted to honor him because he is really, really funny. I encourage you to go watch him. It's just Proto Mac, like it is in the title. And yes, I am too lazy to put a link in the description. <clears throat> I just wanted to say happy 5,000 subscribers. Um, it was really, I was anticipating it for so long, so that, that's something that I can finally lay to rest, that I don't have to worry about, like, I was just terrified of night, like, what if, what if he drops the 3,000 subscribers? I, I was, I was terrified of that, so, yes, good job, Protomac, I will pretty much, for a long time, I will enjoy all of your content, and... Happy 5,000 subscribers. Also, if you paid attention, um, I got contacts, so I thought we'd honor my glasses. So there we go. Um, 
videos over.